From White River Junction, the Center for Cartoon Studies nominated for a national award for best graphic novel or comics of the year. NBC5's John Hawks had this fun assignment today, checking in with an illustrator about what this means for the school. Wash Day Diaries, a graphic novel written by Jamila Rouser and illustrated by Robin Smith. Oh my God, this also took forever. Follows a group of black women and the work that goes into their hair. What I love about the book is that we're not trying to teach anyone anything. The point of the book is for other black women who do take care of their hair in this way or like have to like install wigs in the morning just to go to work because people don't want to see their natural hair or whatever. Um, it's so that they can be like, oh, I get that, and then keep reading. Smith is an Upper Valley resident and has poured over the drawings for two years before publishing. And they're all different color schemes because each friend has a different color. It feels really good that people like it. Um, I think that's something that we were really worried about when we had first made the mini comic, that it was too specific because it's specifically about like black women taking care of their hair. We were like, OK, we care about this a lot. Hopefully other people will, and they do, which is very sweet and nice. The novel is a finalist in the LA Times Book Prize for Best Graphic Novel or Comic of the Year. I almost feel like I haven't really had the time to feel that pride just yet. The award has five finalists. Three of the books have ties to the Center for Cartoon Studies. Smith is currently a teacher at the school. The other finalists include Men I Trust by Tommy Parrish and Joseph Smith and the Mormons by Noah Vance Giver both former Center for Cartoon Studies fellows. It speaks volumes for uh, the quality of work that's coming out of the school and for also the quality that's drawn to, you know, people want to be part of the community here. The school is comprised of less than 30 students and is a two-year program. The administration says the rigorous curriculum is helping put students' work on the map. Our program requires an incredible commitment uh, from the students and the work that they're producing gets critiqued by their peers, by faculty, by the visiting artists that come through or industry. Uh, if they get industry perspective through a very various programming uh, events that we have and just part of our curriculum. Smith says being a part of the school's community, teaching and learning has been a huge part of her success. I just didn't really know anything about comics when I came here. I knew I wanted to like tell stories and I wanted to draw and I figured this was the way to do it. I think they were just really good at being like slow and understanding with the fact that I was pretty new to this art form. The award will be announced at the end of April. A graduate from the school, Tilly Walden, won back in 2019. The school is hoping they will be able to continue their success. In White River Junction, John Hawks, NBC5 News.